All right, um, part three, I believe. Let's hopefully find a battle quickly. Uh, yeah, so far this team has been absolutely fantastic in NU. Absolutely, it's it's probably the most fun team I've ever built and ever played with. It's it's so versatile. It's I don't know. It's it's perfect for me at least. Um, let's see if we can find a battle. Okay, I'll just pass it real quickly. And we got one here, GLHF. Hmm. Floatzel, Melamore, and Rampardos. Okay. Let's lead off with the safe lead. Palaswine, maybe? Yeah. I think Palaswine is the best lead. Okay, Melamore. You kinda annoy me already. Okay, it's Lumberry. Um, I don't know how much Bullet Seed will do to it. But let's find out. Okay, only two hits. That's damn it. That sucks. It's it's Lumberry, so it's I can't Willow Wisp it, and I kind of want to <laughs> keep this around as well. Uh, let's see. It did fifteen percent, so I need possibly four to take him down. Should I risk? He might switch actually. Don't think he will though. Let's just hope for the best. One more, one more. Nope. Okay, um, that kind of sucks. Um, let's see. Uh, Data Malamar. Don't, yeah, I knew it was slower than Leave Any. And it's not scarfed, so. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's just kill him with anything basically I doubt he will switch anyway I will go for the lead blade since it hits anything on steam for neutral damage um, except for Axelgor and this guy it's a Viper I can't hit a Viper either way so if he brings it in it's a good play depending on his set I've not really seen any Vipers in NU it's it's probably in PU it's not even that much used so yeah. Mm -hmm. I was gonna start a timer, but he just about meant to <laughs> to get first. Um, bug and bug. How much does bug and bug do? Let's find out. Get into swarm range. He says, "Okay, not a big surprise." Okay, this is Sludge Bomb again. I figured he would switch up his moves, but... Uh, yeah. Focus Blast. Still not doing anything. Let's see how strong Excelgor is. Data. Excelgor. I know it's speedy as fuck, but... Okay, 100 special attack. It's not the highest. Okay, you... I fear you being scarfed. That's definitely a thing, and I do not have anything to hit, to uh, to leave uh, EQs on switch in. So at least not two EQs. Even though it's unstab, 165 attack from Rampardos is gonna demolish me. Okay, he's not scarfed, and I just hit. Oh, he misses. That sucks for him. I will apologize for that. Let's just go for another. Extra sensory in case he does switch in uh, Surviper. Um, I don't know why he didn't go for EQ. Hmm. Basically, my whole team gets demolished by EQ, so that's why I questions. I can switch, but I don't know if that, that's beneficial for me. Hmm. Probably is good to sack, leave any right here. Hopefully it doesn't set up. I, yeah, I wouldn't imagine so since the energy ball does kind of scare him out, I, I think at least. Um, this guy is not bulky, but I think I will be able to live. And he, well, he can carry Brick Break. The 
waterfall. Yeah, 52. Don't flinch. Thank you. Temproc. Okay, he was a swift sim set. I don't know. He could just aqua jab me. I could rain dance right now. Uh, predicting my sucker punch, but that's the only play I can go for, really. Um, if he brings in the Viper. Mm, so Viper is not really a big threat to my team, but I would like to break his balloon. I think he is, well he is not Scarf, so he had the balloon, but yeah. Hmm. I'll just switch in this guy and I think I can take the win from here. Since he can left any hit he wants to go for. Even Palace One would be able to anyway, but... Yeah, as I said, the head smash miss did kind of matter. I don't know if I would have been able to win or how I would have played with uh, without the hex. But yeah, Aqua Jets. Let's see if Aqua Jet takes him down. I think it will. I did change, by the way, my Caracosta to Adamant since. With the sticky web support, I don't think Jolly is that ne that much needed. And the one thing I would, uh, I have problems with taking down, at least not problems, but um, Spirit Dump. Spirit Dump is very, um, very common in NU right now. And the Jolly variant of Caracosta only did 91-ish percent damage. And I can set, set up on it, at least. No one expects the Lumberry, so they time to Willow with me, and I set up on that turn. And I can take them down afterwards with uh, Stone Edge. Um, at least if, if I'm Adamant, I will have uh, a good chance of taking him down. But if I'm Jolly, I have 0% chance to take him down. So basically, that's why I did change it to Adamant. I've been in many situations where it would have been helpful, would have been, probably would have given me the win straight away. But. Well, you learn every time, so... Oh, it's the same guy again. Um, I will just say GLHF. I, yeah, I'll probably skip this match. So, uh, be right back with uh, the, the, the next one. See ya. And we are back. GLHF. Okay, Xatu and Shedinzia. And Ferrocyte. Damn it, Ferrocyte is annoying. Um, hmm, most likely it is just Pharaoh. Basically, okay, he does lead up with this, and um, that's fine. I don't think he, don't think he can really touch me. And Dark Pulse is oh, flinching. That's nice. Don't know what he's gonna do. To be honest, don't know. Don't know. Don't know. We'll just go for another one. Okay, he does switch into the climb. Um, okay, not assault, fast is leftovers. Can he really touch me? Don't think he can. Barbara, okay, he did, did decide to double switch out into this guy. Okay, he does raise shell, he kills me. Um, does this mean he's scarfed? I, for, I think I'm bulky. I honestly forgot already, but. Um, Let's go for Gorgeist. Yeah, okay, he's scarfed. This, that's nice. I mean, that's really cool. Okay, if he decides to switch to do Xatu, okay, he did not decide to switch to Xatu. I was fearing the Xatu, but he didn't. So I can freely burn his Pharaoh Seed. That's nice, that's nice. Um, Levani is kind of useless because of Shedinja right now. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I probably could set up with this guy anyway. Mostly don't carry Gyro Ball and because he's burned I don't really fear anything from him right now. Let's see. Okay, he leads seeds. Does this mean he's protect? He's 
spike trucks protect. Okay, he is not protecting right now. Mm, fair enough. Jerobo crit, that sucks. I'm forced to go for a stone at right here. If he protects now, it's a good play on his part. He doesn't. He lifts the hit. He can probably kill me right here. That sucks. The crit sucks. Uh, don't think... Does it matter in the end? Uh, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I can set up. Uh, let me quickly calc how much a Sucker Prince does to... Well, I don't know if he... Hmm. I will go for it. I will just... Set up. A sword stands right here. He cannot touch me. He can put up another layer of spikes. Uh, he will probably go for it as well. No, he leads seeds. Um, that mattered, but I don't know how much it mattered. Spirit dump data. Spirit dump. Does he outspeed me? He does not outspeed me. Can I kill? Slash calc. Slow. Okay. Um, Ponyard. Versus Spiritum. If it's the regular Ponyard or Spiritum, knock off at plus two. It's in no way gonna kill him. But nothing on the teams really wants to take that. So I would try and flinch him. I do flinch. Okay. I'm sorry for the hex, but that's. All I needed, basically. Well, I I shouldn't apologize because I went for it because of the because I wanted the hex, but but yeah. Okay, MC Hammer. Uh, access bridge isn't gonna take me down. What are you going to do? Oh, he will wisps. Okay, that's uh, that's a good plan. Protect, all right. Not um, a standard set, I think. Nothing really wants to get knocked off anyway, so. Let's see if he, but he doesn't decide to sex it, didn't he? That's, that's fine by me. They, the, uh, bar, oh no, I was gonna say Barbar, Barbar, bar, 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 Hole. Yeah, he does at speed. He can sucker. I can sucker punch. I mean, which I will go for. Oh, I will. I will use this. No, okay. I'll give him this one. But, uh, if he decides to switch, that's fine. Yeah. I was kind of maybe expecting him to switch, so that's why I uh, did go for this move. Um, I'm, he has, he's forced to go for protect, right? Yeah. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. So Shadow Snake is gonna take him down. Okay, he decides to switch in the climb. That takes the hit quite well. Let me switch in Bronctier, my pulse one. He recovers. Okay. Let's get up my stealthies. Yeah, okay, he does switch in the uh, this man. I did expect it, but I didn't have to do anything to predict that. Because I can basically just sack uh, Ponyard like I did there and go for another uh, Shadow Sneak to at least kill this guy. Okay, he decides to. Can I think of. No, he's lefties. He's lefties. Um, I will go for a rock slide. I would speed. Okay, he's very bulky, apparently. Um, so, Double Shadow Snake is going to take him down. So, that's going to bring me to win. Okay, well, um, he left. He was quite high on leather. Uh, using Scarf Barbarical. Scarf Barbarical is bay. <laughs> Basically. Um, that's, I believe, the second battle for this part, so, um, so yeah, please leave your feedback, anything, 
that can improve my ability to play or to commentate or anything so all feedback is welcome see you in the next part